Hello everybody, this is my end of the year 2014 edition video thing. Anyway, I made one of these last year and I thought I would continue with an update video so I could record my progress and goals and such because I didn't hit very many of my goals this year. So I got a lot faster in cubing this year. At the beginning of last year, um, averaged like 11 seconds on Skube, probably more than that actually, 12 or 13, and I averaged 5, so that's an improvement, but that was an event that was just added this year, which I'll talk a little bit more about in just a couple minutes from now. So my goals for this year were to get a sub 13 second 3x3 three three average, and sub 10 second 3x3 three three single, and then just like, I think sub 2 at 5x5, five five, um, which I, I averaged like a minute 40, 243 now, so that's well achieved. But anyway, um, so I got the sub 13 second 3x3 three three average, but like really late in the year in September, at the end of September. So that was a lot, that was a long time of trying to get a sub 13 second average. And also, I said sub 10 second single, but I unfortunately did not get that ever in, in a competition anyway. Um, I did, I did break 3x3 three three PBs, I think all of them. I don't remember if I got the single. I'm pretty sure I got the single this year too, but I don't remember for sure. But single doesn't really matter to me. So, um, yeah, I, I don't even have a 10 second single. I have an 11 still officially, but I don't really care about official times that much. At least three by three anyway. Some events I do, but so I guess my goals for next year. I'm just gonna set my goals really low so I can meet all of them going for a sub 20 second single every day on 3x3 three three and uh, get it at least one PB in every competition. The one PB in every competition may seem pretty easy, but it's actually not. Because uh, once you start getting faster and your competitions are really close together and they have similar events, it can actually be really hard to get a PB in a competition. I came very close to losing my PB streak at my last competition, and that is basically number of competitions where you got at least one PB, and that's something that people care a lot about. And so, my only PB at my last competition was clock single by one one hundredth of a second. So that was, that was pretty close. And I would have had average, but I DNF'd a good solve, and then all of the rest were just bad. And even the single I got, I would not consider good single, even though it was a personal best. So another thing that happened this year in cubing was uh, Mega Minx. I still have yet to not get a PB in Mega Minx. Every single time I've competed in it, I've gotten a PB single and average, which is something I'll definitely continue doing um, if I don't DNF the average. But So that was fun. I've gotten a lot more into Mega Minx this year. And as well as being on TV, that's something that happened this year that I, would, I could talk about because... I was on national TV a couple times. One time they actually, you know, talked about me more than the other time, but um, so that was fun. And then I was on local TV a bunch, not necessarily a bunch, but a number of times. So um, yeah, it was it was cool. I mean, I think if it had happened like in 2013, I would have been much more excited. But uh, you know, I wasn't ever nervous to go on TV, which I probably should have been. I don't know. I guess it was good that I wasn't nervous because then I didn't like pop or anything. But I did insert a cross edge flipped when I was on solving on local TV one time. So that was funny. Um, it ended up being like a 14 or something, which was, was pretty bad. I'm going to wrap this video up now. Set my goals for next year. Just going to have to continue, I guess, my sub 10 second single. That's not really necessarily a goal for me. I guess last year it was, but now I just do not care. That's that's as simple as it is. I really don't care about 3x3 three three right now. Um, I've been practicing more, so I can get a PB in it at my next competition. My next competition that I know of right now is the Lawrence Spring Open 2015, and they're, they're having some good events, so that is about it. I mean, my other goals would be like, be sub 4.30 at 7x7 seven seven and get a sub 1 minute single on Mega Minx, which is like a really far stretch for me. Um, 
I'm hoping I can do it because that'd be really cool, but my PV right now is a minute 11, so if I could get a sub 1 this year, I'm pretty sure I can. I mean, that's 12 months of practicing, and Mega Minx, you can improve a lot, so this is actually getting longer than I wanted it to be, though. Uh, I hope you like this background. I've got different lighting than I've ever had before in any of my videos, and uh, lots of mess. Uh, there's a lot of cubes missing from that cabinet because... Uh, I actually don't know why. There's just a ton that are not in there. So, looking forward to making the cube collection video May 2nd. And uh, leave your guys' goals in the comments below. And let me know if you made your goals for 2014. Because I like reading your comments. I like listening to your goals and anything you guys have to say. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. This is the part of the video where I cut out now. Thank everybody so very much for watching. You know, I probably could have been more professional in this video and not tip back in this squeaky chair, but I hardly ever sit in this chair, and it's it's quite fun to rock. I'll see you guys. I, I almost said it there. Um, that's something I hate when people say, I'll see you guys in my next video, because I don't see you in my videos. I see a camera. I don't see you guys, though. So you guys will see me next time.